Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. Thanks for everybody coming out this afternoon. Hope everybody's having a great day and a great week. Uh, we sure are. Uh, thanks so much for uh, the AutoZone Liberty people. Uh, for the hospitality, uh, our guys came in here. Uh, we arrived on Thursday, and we've had activities every night. Um, had a lot of fun things for the guys to do. Uh, hospitality has been phenomenal. The people have been great. I know our kids have enjoyed it. We've been able to get some practices in, had some um, adverse conditions yesterday, but the guys had a blast. We uh, practiced in a, in a downpour yesterday, but uh, needed to get some work done. And so uh, excited about uh, being here and representing uh, the Big 12 against a, a great, great uh, Navy football team and, and a great Navy program. I have so much uh, respect for uh, the Naval Academy and Coach Ken. He and I have known each other for a while and been on some committees, and uh, he's done a terrific, terrific job there. And uh, and uh, we have our hands full uh, come tomorrow afternoon. But we're excited about the challenge, and, and uh, we have our last walkthrough today and then some more meetings tonight, and we'll get more into our typical quote, Friday routine uh, today, and, and uh, we'll be ready to roll tomorrow. So we'll open up for questions. Rick, before we get to questions yeah. from them, we have a couple that, that are a tradition for us. Okay, good. Game. Yeah. You know, it's about the food and the music here. Okay. First question about Elvis. Yep. Young Elvis, old Elvis. Do you have a preference? Uh, old Elvis, probably, uh, and uh, my wife and, and uh, two younger children went and toured Graceland on, uh, I think it was Saturday, and had a great time, but uh, yeah, old Elvis. Into the food, mm -hmm. obviously about the barbecue. Yep. Here. We have every version you can imagine. Correct. Wet ribs, dry ribs. Yes. <laughs> uh, I like both, to be honest with you. Uh, dry, probably. But uh, uh, yes, and yes, with barbecue. And so uh, I've been able to enjoy a, a little bit of that myself and uh, phenomenal restaurants and, and uh, great hospitality. And we appreciate your comments about, <laughs> about your week this week. So you bet. Now we'll take questions from the folks who get paid to ask questions. <laughs> Just the repetitions that the, that uh, both uh, our developmental offense and defense are getting in special teams. We've designated every day uh, that we've practiced to a, a period of developmental uh, team periods and individual and then some different special teams. And so uh, just the constant coaching and the constant work of fundamentals within our offense and defensive schemes. And so uh, I know that uh, those guys have appreciated that, uh, getting coached rather than being on the scout team all the time. And uh, so I know we've made some improvements. Well, uh, it, uh, it would finish the chapter, finish the story. We, we talk about uh, the journey we've been on, and we have one more chapter, one more story to write with our seniors, and uh, we know it's going to be a difficult task. But, uh, um, you know, if we, if we continue to, uh, to prepare, uh, give us a great chance to be successful. But uh, without question, it would, it would end the journey. Correct. Yeah, it's been different, obviously. Everything that I've done since I've taken over this uh, position a little over a year ago now has been a first for me. I don't care if it's a first spring ball to a first media day to all that to, to a first bowl experience. And for starters, I couldn't be more thrilled that we're a part of a bowl game. And, um, you know, there wasn't a ton of expectations other than the people in our locker room uh, that we would be playing postseason football. And so I've reached out to a number of colleagues that I have uh, that have helped me in my path uh, along the way. And um, obviously it's been – it's different because of the developmental side of things of continuing to try to uh, work on your future of your football team where when you're playing for preparing for a national championship or a playoff game you have only that on your mind and so that's been a little bit different but uh, not only that but when you go to a, a national championship game you're only there for a couple of days we've been here uh, quite a bit longer so there's more activities and it and it's it's such a reward for the guys from a uh, a season of uh, of a lot of success Uh, 
Uh, they've really done a nice job. You know, Joe Irvin, who's played his four games uh, and we're not going to play, has done a really nice job of, of, of kind of simulating some of the, the Navy stuff, um, being a slot back, and, and he's really quick and, and, and really a good cut blocker. So he's really done a nice job for us. I think Clyde and, and Thomas are continuing to grow and develop. They, they have a long ways to go, uh, but they're, they're, we're seeing really good improvement. And then obviously Jacardier is going to um, see some time tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't get caught up in that, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we have a, a job to do uh, with our team and, and in our preparation. And so whether or not we'd be the first, the next, uh, whatever, we just want to do what we can to, to uh, be successful for, for Kansas State. Well, one, it's never going to diminish the win we had over Oklahoma um, because it was a, a you know, statement win for our program. Um, and two, I think, uh, um, no, I think Oklahoma's a tremendous program, tremendous team. Lincoln Riley's done a phenomenal job to get to the to the to the playoff as many times as as, as Oklahoma has, and in, in, in him in particular. And uh, LSU is a pretty good football team, and um, yeah, that, that quarterback's won the Heisman for a reason. Yeah, Daniel for sure. Jonathan will be a game time decision, but Daniel's okay. And then Jonathan at a little ankle um, a week or so ago, and so we'll see how he does in warm ups. Um, it, well, it's it's a total different preparation. Obviously, there's nothing. There's not one call that we've made throughout 12 games and X amount of snaps that we're going to make uh, on Tuesday. Uh, it's a brand new defense. And uh, uh, I think the, the fortunate thing is we didn't play him on December 17th or have three days to prepare. We've had uh, ample time to, to prepare to try to come up with plan A and plan B, so to speak. Um, and uh, th they've seen everything. It's not nothing's going to surprise Navy. Nothing surprises any team that runs these offenses. I've been fortunate enough to be uh, able to play against a number of, of schools that have run the option. And no matter what you throw at them, they just open up the page and say, "This is how you attack it." And so um, it's going to be a tremendous challenge. But uh, uh, the guys have have bought into uh, what we've been teaching them. And um, you know, it's assignment football. It's eye discipline. It's reading your keys. All those things that we can talk about. But until you get into it and see the speed of play, I think our scouts have done a really nice job of, of showing pictures, but you can't emulate the speed that we're going to see tomorrow afternoon. And so for us, the biggest challenge will be to uh, you know, be able to uh, get to understand and feel for the, the speed of the game. Well, they're going to they're going to run it more than they throw it. So we better be respecting the run first, to be honest with you. And but everybody's got a job. I mean, you know, it's not like you're going to sit in a in a three deep shell and and just let the ball be thrown in front of you because there's not going to. I mean, if they throw it ten times, I'll be surprised. Um, so we we have to you have to be able to defend everything. And I'm a big proponent of you defend everything, you defend nothing. But you better be able to slow down uh, the quarterback. And and so uh, he's been obviously the focal point. Really important. Uh, every game's important, um, and you know we, we've had a, a lot of highs and a lot of lows uh, this season, but we continue to improve every week. And and uh, that's I talked to the guys about um, being the same player, being the same coach, being as assistants the same guy from day one we took this job to day 365. We're not going to be a roller coaster as coaches. We don't want those players to be as well. And we've had uh, a winning streak followed by a losing streak and winning streak followed by a losing streak. But I firmly believe we've been getting better every game. And we played two really good games to end the season. Now we've had a month off. Um, but uh, for me, it's let's reward these seniors that have put so much time and effort uh, into their four and five years here. Uh, that's, that's what we want to do is try to go out and win for the seniors. Hey, 
the whole body of work, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I can't point to one thing. I, I point to the full year of all the newness that, that I had, that the coaches had, that the team had. And um, they, they bought in. Uh, they listened to and bought into the new voices in the front of the room. Um, they held each other accountable. Um, they believed in stacking great days upon great days. You know, we're laying a foundation um, with our staff that we hope the younger guys can uh, latch on to and continue to build upon that foundation. And I, I'm not saying the foundation was poor. This is just our staff. We, we've got a great, great foundation from what Coach Snyder have done, has done for, for years and years. But this is a new staff, and that's all I'm trying to do is make sure our guys buy into what we're trying to do as a staff. We have Skylar Thompson. I promise you, I always have a chance to win. And uh, that kid has played great football for us. Um, and uh, he's become a leader, makes everybody around him better. He's a servant leader in my mind, which makes everybody uh, that he comes in contact with better. And the fact that we have him one more year, uh, we, we have a couple of young players that are doing a nice job. We recruited a young player that we think is going to be a special player. Uh, so to have Skyler around those guys, it's going to make them better. Oh, just the fact that, uh, you know, in the landscape of Power 5 football, you don't see very many big senior classes, especially five-year guys. It just doesn't happen. Whether they, they leave early, they transfer out, whatever it may be, these guys stuck together. And that, that, that tells you how much they love each other and how much they uh, appreciate each other and how much they have each other's back. And that's what I remember most about this senior class from the first day when I had all those individual player meetings with those guys and the relationships that myself, the staff have built with these guys. It's been it's been pretty unique, and and uh, you know I, I know that uh, we're in the position we are today because of the because of that senior class. Um, a guy that um, is one of the best leaders and one of the best leaders by example, vocally, uh, in how he does everything. And this has nothing to do with football. How he does everything off the field, and, and how he attacks life, and how he prepares to to be his best version of Denzel on a daily basis and how he challenges other guys to be their best not on the field off the field I will remember Denzel more for the things and what he's established within our culture off the field and how he's conducted himself how he's held held guys especially young guys accountable to the standard that he expects Kansas State football to be a part of that's how I remember about Denzel um, terrific football player but a better person, a better human, and he's going to be so successful in life. Done a great job, and he's one of those guys in the developmental that uh, he was a school start walk on for us. That uh, uh, you'll hear his name because I think he's got a chance to help us on special teams until he can learn what we're doing at linebacker and develop and get bigger and stronger and all those other things. But uh, a guy that plays the game the right way uh, reminds me of a younger Brock Monty in the fact that he just plays his tail off and keeps quiet and just does things the right way and, and uh, is, has some really uh, good ability. I really don't see an advantage one way or another. Um, the field's going to be the same length and width. Um, and so you just got to tee it up and play. And, and the team that is prepared the best, the team that uh, um, blocks and tackles the best is going to be the one that's going to be successful. Yeah. I believe so. Uh, he's he's healthy. You know, it's It's been nice that month off for, for he, for Joaquin Gill, for all of our running backs to get healthy. Uh, so you know, the first game I think we'll have all the running backs healthy, uh, as well as as Malik and Joaquin and, and Dalton and um, you know so that side of the ball is is probably as good as we've been. You know, you you've know from the from the standpoint of all the calls that we've made for 12 weeks that you don't make any of them on this game. 
but yes in the fact of if you don't have great eye discipline and understand your responsibility and understand where you fit in the 11 piece puzzle you're not going to be successful and so I, I think if you're a corner or safety a great example they're involved in every play and in most games there's potential when the play's away from you you're not really involved in it those kids having to understand that they're held just as accountable as the three technique, as the as the outside linebacker, as a defensive end or a linebacker, to everything from a run fit and a pass fit point of view. I think our defensive backs, especially the corners, have a greater appreciation of, of how they fit into the entire scheme. And so we're hoping that that's a great learning experience for them. Well, if we can run the football, uh, especially like uh, we were able to run it against Iowa State, uh, and it wasn't just under center. It was under center. It was uh, in the gun. It was with jet motions. It was Skyler running the football. That that was what I envisioned, uh, and I know Coach Mess would say the same thing and Coach Riles would say the same thing. When you, when you are multiple in how you run the football, you know, running the football is one thing. That's where Navy is so good. They're multiple in how they run the football. Well, everybody knows about the quarterback. Yeah, but the quarterback's so good because of what the fullback can do and because of